Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. It is Friday, the weekend is upon us. Now I do have some red hot news for you today and our first topic of the video aka's last words to daughter Cairo. Rapper AKA's last words to daughter Cairo have been revealed by grandmother Lynn Forbes. Now recounting her son's last moments before heading out to Durban, Lynn Forbes has revealed AKA's last words to his daughter. Now she revealed this while she was a guest on the Carol Ofori podcast where she spoke about that day. This is what Lynn is quoted as saying. He told her, daddy's gonna miss you. I can't wait for you to be back and always remember that daddy loves you always remember that daddy loves you look it's definitely not easy being a dad especially when you have to part with your children but yeah this past weekend Kyra forbes represented her father at the 17th edition of the metro film awards that was held in nelspreet mbombela stadium now she accepted his four awards which include best male artist best collaboration for his hit single lemons lemonade featuring rapper nasty c best hip-hop artist and artist of the year definitely deserved awards over there now in the acceptance speech, Lynn and Tony Forbes said, Keenan, you make us so proud. You were in this very same city in 2011 for your first Metro FM Awards. To the family, friends and everybody that has been there to support Keenan, thank you so much. And talking about supporting AKA, another month has passed and there are still no arrests or any developments that have been made public to ask the public about AKA's uh, assassins. And I did see on social media, hashtag justice for AKA started trending, especially after the metros. And I will say this is definitely good to see that people have not forgotten and they are still out there demanding justice for AKA. Personally, I do hope that justice does indeed come and this is not dragged out like a Senzo Meiwa case. I will say this, my faith with the South African police is kind of growing a little bit. It's not at an all-time high, but it's definitely growing. I mean, lately, I will say this, if they can catch a fugitive all the way up in Tanzania, hopefully that they can catch some local criminals who I'm assuming are still here in South Africa. But getting back to the story at hand, Murder Bongs has also gushed over Cairo. He actually took to social media and wrote a big congratulations to AKA and the Megacy. Well deserved to Keenan. I am so proud of you at Cairo Forbes for shining so bright at Lynn Forbes and Tony Forbes. Well done to you and the team on all the hard work nobody gets to see. The Megacy will live forever. Hashtag in Mega. We trust, trust, trust. So yeah, those were some words from DJ Zintler's husband, Murder Bongs. Or should I say murder? I think it goes by just murder these days. Look, murder is definitely stepping up as a stepdad. And talking about DJ Zintle, DJ Zintle has also promised to take good care of Cairo. Now she wrote, Keenan, I am so sorry that you have been robbed of your time with your daughter. I would give anything for Cairo to have more time with you, Keenan. The thought of her asking questions breaks me. What do I do when she misses and needs you? Please watch over her and plead with the Almighty to guide Bongani at Murder Bongs and me as we raise our daughter. The last time I saw you, you told me how proud you are of us and how well we were co-parenting. We had come a long way and even though it challenged a lot of people in how well we co-parented, it was never about society or us, it was always about our daughter and what was best for her. Look, those are definitely some awesome words there from DJ Zinkler. I want to go back a little bit on the part where she says, what do I do when she misses you and needs you? And the thought of her asking questions breaks me. So focusing a little bit on Cairo Forbes, perhaps asking questions about AKA of whether or not he is returning. Well, Lynn Forbes actually spoke to the papers and she said she told Cairo about AKA's death. This is what she is quoted as saying to ENCA. I told her that we have some really sad news. Your dad is dead. I said some bad people hurt him. They shot him. She cried terribly. She asked, but he's coming back, right? He will be okay. And I had to tell her, no, he's not coming back and we have to bury him. Look, needless to say, AKA's assassination is definitely a sad, sad story that does impact the legacy, of course, but more so impacts AKA's family. And at this point, like I mentioned earlier, the public are demanding justice for AKA. 
Our next topic, Makadzi confronting open mic and demanding her money. Musician Makadzi has had a whirlwind of a couple of days. First, it was her official statement confirming her departure from record label Open Mic. Now, at the time of the official statement, it did seem like the matter was amicable as she had completed her three year deal with the record label. However, things seem to have quickly changed as Makadzi took to social media to put the record label on blast. So, it all starts off with the following thread that Makadzi posted on social media. It reads, I signed with open mic only for three years in this three years i dropped four albums i have never received any cent of my sales some of my album reached platinum some gold and a lot of hit songs that reach platinum and gold but i continue to work without complaining because all i wanted was to serve my contract to avoid them saying i breached the contract i am taking about the contract that i signed and no one allowed to give me a copy i worked with open mic without a copy copy of my contract ever since they said they will send it. I kept on reminding them but no one was willing to send me my contract. All I wanted was to do my things in peace. That's why I dropped my statement last week without pointing any fingers. Now they are disputing my statement. They are saying my contract is auto renewal. My question is how possible is that to sign me and not give me my copy of contract? So I can see those clause and how positive it is to to renew my contract without sitting down with me and how about my money for my albums because you haven't never sent any cent how possible is it for you to renew my contract without coming to me what if i am not happy working with you must i continue working whereas i am not happy i served my contract i don't want to work with them anymore with some crying emojis now like i said we actually did a story in which makaji posted a statement saying that they have that she has served out her contract and she is no longer with open mic but it does seem that in her contract initial contract with open mic that she signed for three years there is a clause in it in which it auto renews after the end of her contract now Makadzi also posted the following on social media and it reads here is the letter that I received from open mic they were not asking me if I still want to work with them they were just telling me because I'm their slave with uh, a heartbroken emoji over there so the statement reads date 27 February 2023 her email dear miss ralibona aka makazi renewal of management agreement i trust that this letter finds you well we as open mic productions the management are pleased to inform you that we are hereby renewing or extending the contract period for an additional period of three years with effect from the 09th of march 2023 in terms of clause 6.3 of the management agreement entered into between yourself and open mic production pty ltd on the 10th of march 2020 so according to this part of the statement there is a clause in makazi's contract clause number 6.3 in which the management contract auto renews i suppose the statement goes on to read we would like to take this moment and thank you for all the great milestones achieved in the initial period of the management agreement and we look forward to many more achievements during the renewal period for any further information please don't hesitate to contact us best wishes Nkateko maluleke md now we'll say this a lot of people are asking who is Nkateko Maluleke well Makazi came through and replied to that and wrote Nkateko Maluleke he is the MD of open mic a year after I signed allegedly he was hired to threaten me because I was demanding my contract after he came everything changed and I was contacted only to speak to him. Now talking about Makadzi and Gatteko, apparently there is some leaked audio between the two of them. So a user on social media posted the following audio between Open Mike and Makadzi. Who is the lawyer between the two? And Makadzi can speak English, guys. In <laughs> okay, let me play that clip for you guys real quick. Sign, not saying I don't want to go. No, I don't have the powers to sign those agreements. So mm -hmm. maybe the conversation you must have it with Mlao and Jamela because. The agreement that you signed, I sent a renewal uh, to your email, and then you then said, why did I not, well, were you not part of the conversation? But the agreement was clear to me, what I saw that. 
with which the, which agreement was studio. clear and Kateko because yes. of the last this time the, I still remember yes. they introduced you as an MD. I must talk, talk, talk everything with you. And you came to me and said, I must speak with you direct. And we yeah, met with my weather issue. Well. No, 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 no. We met at my weather before that issue. You were not aware that I don't have my contract with me. You promised me that you're going to give me my contract the following week until today. Until uh, February before you can send... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm giving, I'm giving, no, I'm giving you the... A solution that is going to work well because now which solution I don't have to talk to Mulao because I've been talking to you from the day where to go. Okay, what is the what is the contract? Okay, what is the contract that you said you're gonna you're gonna send it to me? No, when you signed the contract, I was not there. Okay, which contract did you want to send? You promised to send a contract. Which one? Which one is that one? I don't think we should be having this conversation. If you Want to talk contract? I'm not directing the conversation. Where is the contract that you said you're gonna send? You said please you're gonna send. To, Where is no, it? Please talk, please talk to Mulao. I'm, I'm also right. asking the same thing that you promised me. Where is the contract that you said you're gonna send it to me? And I don't have. I, I asked for it. I don't have it. So if you can please talk to Mulao. You asked it. We don't have it. Okay. And then why are you giving the statement out you, out there to the public saying you, that you know I, about the contract? Not, Which contract are you I saying in public? Because you're saying you don't have it. That, that, that is between me and my I work for open mic, not for artists. Not so, for artists. You work for me because you came to me and said I must I speak with I you everything. You. I work for open mic. No, I work for open mic. You are an artist that's like Okay, why why did you lie to me then? Why did you lie to me? Well, you lied to I me then. Lie to you. No, my let's finish this conversation. You hey, you lied to me then because you pro- So yeah, there you've heard the audio between Makazi and uh suppose Mkateko. It does seem that he is actually passing the blame on, he's just passing the baton to the next person, and Makazi wants answers and uh, talking about her English. Look, guys, what if Makazi has has been trolling us and she has been all along a very articulated well in english person all this time and we just thought that makazi couldn't speak english so i want to thank everyone who buyed my ticket guys everyone who buyed my tickets to come to my one man show for those who buy the ticket i'm sorry i don't know who corrected me because earlier in the morning i was saying buy it. so people were correcting me so imagine the whole three thousand people with my own english but I heard that guys, it's not bide, it's bought. Thank you for correcting me. It's not bide, it's bought. So thank you, thank you for buying my ticket. But also when it comes to things about money, look, that English finds you real quick. But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about this particular audio, leaked audio, between supposedly between Open Mic MD and Makazi. So taking a look at some of the reactions on social media, one user wrote people asking why Makazi did not read her contract before signing like they read every line in their contract when they buy furniture. Go Joshua Do, Gascoloto. Uh, all right, another person wrote, I think it's because this is not the first time she is in this situation. After the drama with Rita, people expected her to get lawyers. She can afford lawyers, by the way, which I will say I do agree and understand what that user is saying over there. I didn't, I wasn't expecting Makazi to be in this particular situation a second time around, having a dispute with her, I suppose, record label and people promoting her and her management but yeah seems like she is back at that same road again having disputes with her management another user wrote more makazi would rather spend on luxury than invest in professionals to handle their affairs i reached out to offer assistance to homegirl the first time she spoke out about the contractual disputes my efforts were ignored that is from i suppose village lawyer so perhaps he was looking for business himself now, Anelim Tota actually wrote something on social media. You can offer Makazi advice without being an asshole or demeaning or jealousy. Try it to which a user replied, when I tell people to get a lawyer, they think I say this so I can get clients for my company I work for. I repeat, get a lawyer before concluding any contract. This could have been avoided. Please pass on the advice, Anel. 
Now, apart from what Makazi wrote on social media and the statements that she has put out, well, Makazi actually spoke about this. Now, Makazi was part of the winners of the recent Metro FM Awards 2023 as she walked away with the Best Female Artist Award. Now, like I said, she did win an award, so I'd assume that is why she was in a very happy mood. But yeah, the following clip of her has gone viral on social media in which she says the following to Somizi. Okay, on stage, on stage, you sounded rushed, eh? Do you still want to say something to, to open mic, you know, just to make your clear things? Uh, okay, um, all I can say to open mic is, uh, honestly speaking, my mom always tell me that no matter what happens, don't forget the good things that a person did for you. So I believe that this award is for me an open mic because of we've been together, we've been this, in this journey together until now, the journey has ended. Uh, the only thing that I want is my money. So yeah, there you have heard it from Makati herself. She's not saying that her time at open mic was all bad, but right now things for her in her mind have ended and all she wants is her money. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Red Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.